So for this collection that I'm developing now, I wanted to use all natural dyes and I was also just really excited to find out like how is it done, like what plants are used, get my hands dirty um, and I'm so grateful that we found this wonderful natural dye workshop in Bali uh, called Teram, based between here in Bali and Java and I think what's really stunning about this uh, workshop and with the processes of these dyes is obviously there's indigo, we're all very familiar with indigo. There's other sustainable uh, plants that are also used, like mango, um, the leaves from the mango trees. And I found it really fascinating uh, to learn that instead of using, let's say, turmeric, which is used really commonly and the price is much higher, or like flowers and fruits, which in Bali are actually sacred offerings to the gods, um, they're using mango leaves, which there is bountiful, abundant amounts of. And if you boil it, it produces a beautiful yellow mixed with different woods. So just seeing the extremely innovative ways that uh, people like Taram are using uh, to create natural dyes is very, very inspiring. Uh, being here on the ground, also behind uh, the workshop, there is a pond uh, full of beautiful lilies where the runoff water from the dye is being converted back into healthy water that can go back into the earth. So when the dye is used, there's also, it's all natural, but there could be iron, things like minerals that are at a higher concentration than are usually in nature, so it's not so healthy. So the plants suck it up, and in this natural way, it can go back into the natural system and the water is reused again. As a designer, it's really, really fascinating for me to actually get to the workshops, meet the people behind it, understand their philosophy, make sure that we have the same values. It's also inspiring from a design standpoint, not just a sustainability activism standpoint, because I see things always that I never thought of. And then suddenly, like this, I'm like, aha, now we have to start working with interesting cotton wool mixes on the hand loom with them. Now we start need to we have to start using the interesting red dyes that come from mahogany wood. So um, being here in person is just, it's such a blessing.